Hi guys and welcome back to The Mighty Blues. My name is of course Cameron and welcome back today to another video. It is Wednesday, no live scene today as we mentioned on Monday. It is going to be a video. We're going to be going over some Everton news, non bigger than obviously the announcement yesterday that defender Mason Holgate has signed a five year extension with Everton on his contract, keeping him at the club for another five years. Absolutely made up that this was announced yesterday and absolutely made up that Mason's penned uh, a five-year deal with the club. He's been absolutely fantastic since Duncan Ferguson's come in, since Carlo Ancelotti has come in, and he's done more than enough to deserve this contract. I dare say it'll be quite a big pay rise, uh, and obviously it means that it's keeping him at the club for quite some time as well. He's gone on to say about how happy he is at the club and how he sees himself winning silverware in the coming years at the football club, uh, and how he's got no real interest in moving on at the minute. He's settled uh, and he's enjoying playing under the new manager, which is obviously fantastic news. Listen, I think we all know... Mason's been in absolutely unbelievable form since Carlo Ancelotti's come in. Obviously, you know, we see them under Marco Silva. From the Mason Holgate that we sent out on loan to West Bromwich Albion last season, he's such a change player. He's come back to the football club. He stepped himself up. He stepped in as a centre-back. He's been absolutely fantastic in 99.9% .9 of games. He's played at centre-back, if not 100% of games. He's even been asked to play in midfield at times when he stepped into midfield. He's done an absolutely fantastic job, even in, you know, tough games where realistically we needed to be controlling the midfield in times when players like Andre Gomez, Fabian Delph, uh, Morgan Schneider and Gilfie Sigurdsson weren't fit. He stepped up and he's done an absolutely fantastic job in the centre of the midfield. I think he's probably, I think it's fair to say he's probably been our most consistent player since Carlo Ancelotti's come in. Definitely him and Dominic Calvert-Lewin. He's been an absolute rock at the back. Uh, he played, I think, every minute of 16 Premier League games. Um, obviously, from Duncan Ferguson's reign to Carlo Ancelotti's reign. And it is absolutely magnificent. And not only seeing Penn in a, a further deal and uh, staying at the club for, for hopefully another five years if he sees it out, but also speaking so positively about his love for the club and his want to stay at the club um, and speaking about how his aims are to win silverware as well going forward like I said for me nobody at the, in this current side deserves this more than Mason Holgate does I think he's been absolutely immense recently um, defensively he's grown so much uh, in terms of as a player he's got a lot stronger he's got a lot more aware he is you know his, his ability on the ball is absolutely fantastic you can really really tell that that year out on loan at West Bromwich Albion has done him fantastically even though he played that you know on the right hand side right back for a lot of that loan spell you can see it's given him a lot more confidence to, to take the ball to pick the ball up to drive with the ball uh, he's fantastic in the air as well obviously um, and like I said he, he's just grown a little bit more confident and I think he's settled himself down a little bit and started to work on the things that he's really really good at and for me he's our most demanding centre back and he's probably our best centre back at the moment in terms of you know, when you, you've got somebody running at Mason Holgate or when Mason Holgate's got the ball and there's a couple of attackers running at him, you almost certainly know that he's going to deal with it properly and, you know, he's got a fantastic touch. He gets the ball, he brings it down and that is exactly why we've seen him succeed as a midfielder as well. When he's been asked to step up into midfield, he's done that fantastically well. He takes the game by the scruff of the neck, he picks the ball up, he drives with it, he uses his strength, he uses his ability. He's got real, real character um, and for me, he's definitely got the potential to be a leader in this squad and, and potentially even an Everton captain in the future if he you know if he stays beyond the five years that he's just signed to and he continues in this form then I definitely think he's got the um the characteristics and the quality to be an Everton captain going forward. So obviously that was the biggest news coming out of yesterday. Mason Holgate has signed a new five-year contract with the football club, keeping him in until 2025, which is absolutely fantastic. Hopefully Dominic Calvert-Lewin is next on that list, of course. There have been rumours around Dominic Calvert-Lewin signing a new contract for months and months now. Uh, I'm getting a massive pay rise, apparently. Um, but officially, he hasn't signed that yet. He hasn't put pen to paper yet, so hopefully he is the next Everton player player to do that again another player that's been in absolutely fantastic form since Carlo Ancelotti's come in and another player that's done more than enough to deserve you know a, a, a wage uh, increase and done more than enough to deserve a new contract at the football club so fantastic news about Mason let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section down below of course I'm absolutely made up especially obviously <coughs> 
after the rumours last week about how sad like Manchester City may be interested in him and maybe interested in you know taking him off or some potentially giving us John Stones back you, you do sort of you know although you're confident you, you know when Carlo Ancelotti's coming out and saying Mason's going nowhere he's not for sale we're not going to sell him you are confident but there is a little party that thinks let's just hope that the player's head doesn't turn and let's just hope that the player doesn't see the money and, and, and you know the playing at Manchester City etc etc but it's very very clear that he's not interested in any of that and he just wants to play football for the toffee so absolutely made up for Mason Holgate and absolutely fantastic news that he has signed a new five-year deal. In other news, striker Schenk Tosin currently on loan at Crystal Palace. As we know, unfortunately, has picked up a serious knee injury and it could actually mean that his loan spell at Crystal Palace is cut short and even uh, put in jeopardy his uh, participation in the upcoming Euros. He suffered a potentially serious knee injury. This is according to The Athletic. Um, obviously, we've seen Schenk Tosin leave the football club in January, signed for Crystal Palace on loan, had a dream start for them, scoring on his debut against Manchester City and then picked up an injury and we didn't really see him since, obviously now it's feared that it quite could be quite serious and he might have to cut his loan spell short, which is really, really disappointing, especially after the um, the rumours and the news in the, in recent weeks uh, of Steve Parrish, who obviously is Crystal Palace's chairman, coming out and really, really praising Cenk Tosin and saying that he's definitely a player that they'll look to bring in on a permanent in the summer, I believe there's a clause in his loan contact to say that they could pay a certain fee we're not too sure what that fee is yet whether it be 10 15 20 million we don't know but they could pay you know a, a certain fee and it would mean that he'd become a permanent player in the summer obviously that would jeopardize that entire situation as well if he had to leave early to come back to Everton football club through this knee injury so it's and it's really really disappointing and i think you know we all know as a fan base chenk is a player that you know, we all massively appreciate. He, he maybe just wasn't quite good enough for the football club. He didn't quite get it, you know, running. He was absolutely fantastic in his first 10 games of the football club when he signed. And then obviously signed in January, going into the summer and into the start of the season. After that, he didn't quite get it under, you know, under going under Marco Silva. And then obviously, you know, Carlo Ancelotti deemed that, you know, he, he, he needed to go out on loan and that he wasn't going to have a part to play in this squad. And like I said, I've got, I'm not got a bad word to say about Cheng Tosin, an absolutely fantastic professional, seems to be a really, really down-to-earth lad, gets his head down, works hard, never says a bad word about the club, never moaned once, loads of papers linking him with moves back to Turkey and moves all around the world, and he always just remained professional and said he wants to get his head down and work hard for Everton Football Club as long as he's there. Obviously, seen him go out on loan which I think was fantastic for all parties really brilliant for Crystal Palace because they're getting the type of striker that they like and they've had in the past that that target man that player that might necessarily have an awful lot of pace but you know definitely has got ability when you can unlock it um fantastic for the player himself he was able to go out and get some game time there was no point in him sitting on the bench at Everton and obviously really really good for Everton it was a chance for us to get a name off the wage bill get somebody out the door and hopefully have them make a good impression on the club that they're going to and then you know become a permanent sign and like I said I, I want absolutely nothing but success for Cheng Tosin in the future and it really really is you know unfortunate to see that through a, a, a serious knee injury you might have to not only cut that loan spell short but obviously um you know worry about his, his participation in the Euros which is definitely worrying for, for the player himself and obviously worrying for the club because it's quite clear that Carlo Ancelotti uh, doesn't see Cheng Tosin in his plans going forward you know we've got Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Richarlison, Moise Keane who, who are the three strikers currently that are in and around the first team squad and that are playing consistent first team football and I dare say you know that we may see another one coming in the summer so it's not looking good for Cheng Tosin in terms of his Everton future and obviously this would mean that his Crystal Palace future is in serious doubt as well if it does this injury does mean that he has to leave his loan spell early so obviously that's massively unfortunate like I said not a bad way to say about Cheng Tosin I think he's an absolutely fantastic professional Um. I was really, really happy when, you know, he, he got the first goal for Crystal Palace against Manchester City. Uh, I'm really, really happy to hear Steve Palace's comments about him as well. But obviously injuries happen in football and it is unlucky. I just hope that he can get over it as soon as possible and he can get back to playing football, of course. Finally, the last thing that I wanted to talk about in today's video. I'm sure a lot of you know I've been talking about it for quite some time now on the live streams. Myself and my girlfriend will be completing the Goodison Park Sleep Out on Friday, the 6th of March. This upcoming Friday in a couple of days we'll be at Goodison Park in the park and stand the stand where I sit when Everton play at home and we'll be sleeping out uh, in order to raise funds raise awareness and raise uh, money obviously for Everton in the communities home is where the heart is campaign which obviously 
in this case is raising awareness for homelessness in in young people aged between 16 and 25 i believe it is i've left two links to to two just given pages both myself and my girlfriends down below in the description uh, if you can donate any amount whatsoever it will be fantastically appreciated it really really would like i said a penny a pound it all goes a long long way to this absolutely fantastic course everton in the community are an unbelievable charity a fantastic charity definitely a charity that are close to a lot of evertonians hearts uh, i'm really really looking forward to doing the sleep out um leaving the house this morning to go to work with you know work pants on and a shirt on and a jacket on and a coat on and just realizing how absolutely freezing it was it does make me think it's gonna be baltic there but it should be some uh, you know it should be really really good fun we've got loads of other uh, Everton, evertonians doing it as well as you know fans of other clubs as well I know a couple of liverpoolians that do it every year there's loads of the lads that, that do the youtube channels as well i know mike's gonna be there network michael d the falcon blues lads will be there as well so there's gonna be loads of people there um, um, you know, it should be a fantastic night, obviously, a really, really good opportunity to network as well with fellow Evertonians as well as, you know, raising money for, for a fantastic cause. I will be filming the uh, the night, uh, probably doing a, a vlog style video of, of, of bits, you know, through the night. The Everton ladies doing it alongside Sarah Halpin as well so I'll try and get a couple of interviews with them I know they've been in relatively good form obviously just uh, played their first game in the new home Walton Hall Park as well so hopefully I get the opportunity to talk to them talk to some of the other you know lads and ladies um, and some of the YouTube guys as well uh, and genuinely just have a good night raising money for everything in the community and actually seeing what it's like to, to sleep rough for a night because I know I'm very very privileged I'm very very lucky I've never you know, luckily enough, I've never had to do that ever in my life and, and touch wood, I never would have to do that. But I fully understand that there's people that are doing that, you know, day in, day out. People that are my age, younger than me, older than me. So, you know, it, it's going to be really, really eye-opening and, and I actually can't wait to go out there and, and do it on Friday. So, like I said, if you've got any spare change whatsoever, if you could donate it, it would be greatly appreciated using the links in the description below. I'll be filming the whole event. We will still be live on Friday, just before the sleep out, about 5.15. We'll be doing the game preview ahead of our Premier League fixture against Chelsea on Sunday away from home of course and then it's literally be finishing the live stream grabbing something to eat and going straight to Goodison Park to sleep out until Saturday morning so like I said I'll be filming it all I'll be getting clips hopefully I'll be getting some interviews to upload throughout the night as well or probably the morning after because we all know how bad the connection is at Goodison Park anyway that's going to do it for today's live stream um, video then you said live stream then it's not a live stream today's video if you have enjoyed please do hit that like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new as well it only takes a second go and follow us on twitter at mighty blues yt as well as instagram at mighty blues efc as well growing on both of those platforms just hit 1500 followers on the twitter account so massive massive thank you for that and nearly at 100 followers i think we're about eight to nine followers away from 100 on instagram so if you haven't checked that instagram out go and check it out uploading daily photos and videos uh, of everton football club and obviously you all know the twitter keep it up to date with all of the latest everton information got some fantastic plans uh, for the future for both this channel as well as you know other bits and bobs as well so don't forget to look out for them got some really really important meetings and calls etc um to attend in the in the coming days and weeks or so uh with some big big plans for the future so don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you are new put the bell notification on as well i don't usually say that but you may as well just stick it on because you get notified whenever i upload and that means you can dive in the live teams as soon as they go up so you're not you know having that issue where you're coming in as we're finishing you know hit the bell and you'll be able to get in straight away big thanks for watching don't forget to join us on friday live at 5 15 p.m for obviously the live game preview ahead of our Premier League fixture against Chelsea. Big thanks for watching, leave a like if you have enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you soon on the Mighty Blues.